join me on my trip to the Galapagos. Upon arrival, you'll be in Baltra Island. Here we have to take a bus to get to a boat to go to Santa Cruz Island. Baltra Island is a lot more drier than the rest of the islands. Baltra Island is just the place for the airport. Santa Cruz Island is the hub to get to all the other islands. Here is the first picture I took of the trip. Anyways, after that we have to get onto the boat so that we can head our way to Santa Cruz Island. Everyone from the airport has to go on this boat. It's not a very long ride, don't worry. Once we arrived, our driver was ready to take us to our hotel. We're headed to Puerto Ayora. I really hope I said that name right. It's basically a hub where all the tourism is. Every tour you visit will be based out of this area. The town is designed that way. Finally, we made it to our hotel. This hotel is based on the travel package that we ordered. We booked a lot of things in advance before arriving in the Galapagos, so that made our trip a lot easier. Here is the room that was included in our tour package. Actually, I took this video after we already lived in it, but it's a cute room. A clean, cool, and comfortable place for us to sleep at night. When I travel, I don't tend to spend lots of time in the hotel room, so I don't really go overboard with that. As long as we're in a nice and decent clean room. Also, all of our meals are included. That's great. There is no closet, but it's okay because we have a rack. The bed is nice and big and comfortable. Now let's head over to the bathroom. Honestly, don't really have any complaints about this hotel. I thought it was pretty good. For what we needed, I think it really made sense with our trip. Galapagos can be very pricey, but honestly, I think the best thing for you to spend money on here is definitely the tours. Oh, and the view at this hotel is absolutely beautiful. You can see the city. Now for lunch. Generally, when we book hotels, we try to have at least one meal included. After lunch, we're on our way to the Charles Darwin Station. We have a tour planned so that we can see turtles. Before our tour starts, we're going to be going to the beach there. They have a beach included at the Charles Darwin Station. When we got there, we already saw some sea lions. It's pretty cool. And then when we headed back from the beach, our tour was going to start. There's actually a lot of hiking tours on the Galapagos, so you gotta make sure that you have some physical fitness, but not too much because honestly most of it's easy. There's a lot of lava lizards on the trail, and actually, if you want to know if it's female or not, the females have orange throats. Pretty fascinating, right? Anyways, we eventually finally saw the turtles. It was so cool. They're really big. This is the first time I've ever seen turtles that were so big. It was pretty exciting for me. There are also plenty of baby turtles. They're eating celery. Look, isn't that cute? How adorable, there were so many turtles, and for me it was super exciting. And just like they're often depicted, I do think they're pretty slow, it's so cute! All the turtles in this area are actually male, I believe. Oh my gosh, look what I caught on film! It's okay, I won't judge. Also, I want to mention, when you go to the Charles Darwin Center, you should bring your passport because they can give you an extra stamp if you're into that stuff. In our free time after the Charles Darwin Center, we decided to take a look around and we saw some animals. The animals in the Galapagos are everywhere. These are crabs. They're just in front of humans all the time and it's just normal for them. This footage is all from our first day and we saw so many things. It's really, really cool. The sea lions are so huge and they just sleep anywhere. It's so cute. It honestly feels like most of the time when I came across them, they were sleeping. They seem lazy. After that, we decided to have some dinner. Here is an example of what the hotel offered. Also, every night we went back to the dock and then looked at animals. There's honestly so many. This is one of the more active sea lions. I feel like during the whole trip, I saw mostly sleeping ones and like maybe two ones that were active. So cool. Honestly, I kind of see why they do stunts at SeaWorld, because sometimes they do some flips and stuff. It's pretty cool. Not like jumping out in the water, but it is entertaining to watch. Oh no! Muff! 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 Muff!
<laughs> the following day, we went to go to see Tortuga Bay. It's actually a pretty long walk, so if you need to, make sure you bring some water bottles. Also, make sure you go to the bathroom before you go because there's no bathrooms once you get there. The beach area is 2 kilometers away from the bathroom, so really be mindful of that. The first beach is very choppy and you can't really swim here. But as you walk a little bit further, there are places to swim and you'll see animals along the way. There's actually so many animals on this beach. In the Galapagos, it's really common to get pretty close to the animals, which is so cool. I've never really been to a place like that. Not to mention, there are so many iguanas on this beach. It's really, really cool. So many people take photos with them, including myself. The water in the Galapagos is one of the bluest I've ever seen, and actually I've been to so many countries, so take my word for it. It's very blue here. Take a look at all these fish in the water. Isn't that so cool? Had to take a photo at Tortuga Bay because this place is really pretty famous. Also take a look at the cactus forest. Pretty cool. They have cactuses all over in Galapagos. Most of the trails you'll find in the Galapagos have these cactus forests. We had a lot of fun swimming in this area. It was really nice. And like I said, the only way to leave is to walk back or take a boat. The boat's not free though, it's $10 per person, but it takes you straight back, which is really convenient. There's also a lagoon in Santa Cruz Island, and I think it's really worth visiting. It's honestly really beautiful. It's really picturesque, and I saw a bunch of people relaxing here. So beautiful and serene. I definitely had to take a photo. Nature is just so beautiful. Anyway, that's all for now. Part 2 of the Galapagos trip coming soon. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed.